My name is Monica. I am originally from West Africa, Liberia. I come from a very big family of eight children. Um, one memory I have is about my siblings and I just sitting around at home and listening to my uncle visit from the village and telling us stories. Stories were a really big part of my family growing up. My mom made up her own stories that I still remember today and I still tell my children those stories. In 1989, um, rebel forces invaded Liberia. My family and I was forced to go into exile in Guinea, which was the closest uh, country. Different humanitarian programs became available in order to help us settle. And one of the available programs was the re resettlement program headed by the UN. A relative of mine applied and we were granted a humanitarian visa to Australia in 2001. When we arrived, we were given a caseworker who really helped us with opening our first bank account showing us where we can do our grocery shopping, getting registered with Centrelink, and we also learned about the train and the bus system, which, which was really new to me. The caseworker stayed with us for at least three months. Uh, we then moved to our own house. So the first year for me was really, really hard. Um, I was away from everything that I knew and most of my immediate family I believe I'm where I am today because I've been able to appreciate what I've been given and take advantage of the opportunities provided. I understand though that I have the drive and motivation to change my story. I have been helped every step of the way by the people from the first Liberian families I met to the Australians who helped me understand and be a part of the Australian culture by learning about a bridging course at university that I was able to complete successfully and help me to get into a course at uni. All of this, I believe, resulted in me um, getting a full-time job. You know, when coming to a new country, everything is new for you. You're starting from scratch. Maybe you've left family members behind. Maybe you came with family members, but you, want, you feel alone in a way. So having communities that are welcoming or people that are just telling you in their own way that I'm here for you or you can take my hand if you need to. I feel that that was the biggest advantage that I had. Hi, my name is Tim Norton and I am an auxiliary bishop in the Archdiocese of Brisbane. Jesus himself with his mother and father, Mary and Joseph had to flee to Egypt and had to be received there, so they too were refugees. Therefore, it's incumbent upon us as followers of Christ that we would be people who are open to receive refugees. So as the Archdiocese of Brisbane, we are taking action and contributing to the solution. So we are planning on partnering with Community Refugee Sponsorship Australia in launching the Archdiocese of Brisbane Refugee Sponsorship Initiative. This new Archdiocese of Brisbane initiative will seek to engage parishes and faith communities to fundraise, to support and build relationships with people in need of settlement here in Australia, in our home. My sisters and brothers, this is about mission and this is why this is a wonderful opportunity for us. An opportunity for us to be creating relationships that go even beyond our parish. Not just inviting people into our parish, but we're on mission out as well. And this is why we, as the Archdiocese of Brisbane, are encouraging one another to move into this area as a really wonderful thing in the light of the mission of God in the world. I'm Mel. I work for Evangelization Brisbane as a project officer, and I have the honour of coordinating our refugee sponsorship initiative. The group mentorship program was initiated at, at a recognition of the needs that came out of COVID. People who arrived here as refugees in 2019 and 2020 may have been identified by Community Refugee Sponsorship Australia as in need of particular support in particular areas. Your group commitment would be around six to 12 months time commitment to a refugee household or individual and approximately $4,000 fundraising. 
along with social engagement, along with community building and welcome. The CRISP program, or the Community Refugee Integration and Settlement Pilot, um, began this year and it's designed to allow community groups to fundraise and socially support and welcome refugee households and individuals who are currently outside of Australia waiting for their opportunity to settle in a safe place, in a safe home. You'll be sponsoring people who have never potentially been to Australia and the fundraising commitment is around 7,000 to 21,000 depending on the size of the family or household. The time commitment for this program for community groups is 12 months. So for 12 months, you will be committing to socially welcoming a family or household. You might support them to help their children enroll in school. You'll probably show them how to catch the bus. You'll probably support them to open a bank account and enroll with Medicare and all of the things that come with getting used to a new place and making a new home. As usual, when we work with people who are vulnerable, who have experienced difficult things, you'll receive specific training through Community Refugee Sponsorship Australia, along with training from Evangelization Brisbane and the Archdiocese to support you in the vital work that you'll be doing. Get ready to welcome a refugee family or individual into Australia by thinking about these three steps. Attend an information session, whether that be at your parish or at your kid's school, find out more. Two, stop take your giving capacity. In so many programs, we are used to giving money and in this program, we are giving our time as well. Not only are we financially supporting, but we are building home and supporting people to build and find home. And three, in line with finding and building home, prepare to welcome them. Prepare to welcome them into your community and into your life.